Now, our lesson is all about marketing communications, public relations, personal selling, direct marketing, and word of mouth. What is communication? Communication, an important but often misunderstood form of promotion in the tourism industry. Let's tackle that in the word of mouth. Let's give it a further more discussion in those next slides. First, in the communication is public relations. What do you mean by public, public relations? It means the relationship you, uh, you build with your customers, the individuals that are involved in the industry. For example, the sector of uh, marketing, that's a public relation. You need to boost your relationship with them to have a stronger communication. And then, publicity. It is received through news media coverage. For example, publicity can be or can be seen in an online platform. For example, Facebook. You could publicize your company or organization through that platform, so everybody or anyone can see it and know your company or product. So this is the figure that are involved in the organization. These are the relationship that are the, that the organization has. So now let's jump up to the roles and functions of public public relations, establishing corporate identity. It is are similar to those of branding to create an image of consistency, consistency. Reliability and professionalism that is easily, easily recognized by the public. Don't make an ano, um, very difficult na branding. Make an impactful, simple but very impact, very impactful. Easy to recognize so that when your customers see it, they can identify that that is your brand. So, government relation. So, every business, they have a government relation. They have a license, taxes, so they have a legal document that uh, support their company. Crisis management. For example, it uh, the operational managers, by handling media pressure, inquiries and ensuring that the organization's version of events is presented. So, when crisis arises, the manager handles those kind of operation so that the, the other people will be yes, no? ma, mabigyan ng kaalaman ukol sa totoong nangyayari. So, hindi sila malak behind. Internal communication. So, that happens in the staffs, mga employee na nasa, nasa loob ng organization. And customer's relation. Ito, para din siya pub public relation. Pero, ang customer relation, they build it with their customer. Kasi kapag you have a strong relationship sa inyong customer, you will have a customer loyalty sa inyong company or organization na could be a uh, result to a long-term uh, relationship sa kanila. And marketing publicity, kagaya ng kanina, publicity, you market your uh, organization or your company to online platform and publicize it in a platform of... <laughs> sorry, sorry. Marketing it to the public... Marketing publicity is marketing it on an online platform or either pwede rin mga media, or kagaya ng mga TV advertisement when you need to or nakikita ang marketing publicity. So, these are the key tools in tourism and hospitality. There are these figures are important to build a tourism and hospitality. So, next is public Public relations techniques. Number one is press releases and conference. It is a mass uh, involvement. Kasi, binibigyan mo kalaman yung mga tao upon sa 
ano nangyayari sa inyong company. When it, may events na nangyayari. And then you make a um, conference na para makaalam sa kanila yung totoo at yung mga facts na nandoon. Then also, it gives uh, a little uh, promotion na rin sa inyong company. Then feature stories or pic pictures. So, sa tourism kasi, ngayon, in trend, yung tawag nila na hindi yung lugar minsan yung pinupuntahan ng tao. Yung story na nandoon, yung pinupuntahan ng tao. Nagaya yung, may epista bang pumunta doon? Ba't siya nagpapicture doon? Mini pa na tayo yung lugar. So, pupunta sila doon. Kasi narinig nila yung story, pupunta yung artista na sikat doon at ang picture. Ganun na kasi siya. And then, travel exhibition and motion. Pagaya niya, nagparent kayo, mabalik na yung attraction or kung aring hotel. Meron dyan exhibition na nag naganap or mga nag-showcase na kayo ng mga something ng mga prada. Pupuntahan kayo ng tao and it gives up pub more publicity sa mga tao at nagkakaroon kayo ng mga interaction and gives a strong relationship naman sa inyong mga potential customers and sa mga individuals na na-involved at kumasak doon sa inyo. Cost-related marketing. Ito yung parang charity na type na kapag kumas, kung may merong conference, tapos meron silang registration fee. Kapag, kapag nagbayad ka ng registration fee, makakatulong ka sa mga nabahaan, uh, uh, naapektuhan ng mga bagyo, lindol, ganon. Ganon yung klase na cost-related marketing. Pinagamitan nila ng mga something charity na endorsement para lang pumunta kayo doon at mapapaisip ng tao na ay, nag-register pa lang ako dito at nakakatulong din ako sa mga tao dito. And then publications. Publications. Mga brochures, reports. Katulang, ang publication kasi makita mo sa mga paper. So, mostly mga magazine, newspapers. Pwede rin yung books kasi minsan nagpapag- uh, Tapos uh, publicating sila ng mga books na naka-include na yung mga books and policies. Paano ba naging successful yung isang company? Kung company nyo, naging successful. Ano yung mga key strategies at techniques na nandoon? At pwede nyo mag-promote yung sa mga tao. So, winning or sponsoring awards. It usually happens to, kung hari, may isang resort. May bigay sila na representative into a uh, budget sila yung nag-sponsor sa candidate na yun. And then, by mentioning their name doon sa uh, nasabing pageant, yung mga tao doon, mapapaisip, ah, pumunta na ako doon, maganda doon. And then, there are story that will come up at mag-spread na siya ng kanya lang. Yung word kasi ng isang tao, pwede yan marinig na lahat. Especially kung positive, maraming nakakalunin niya. It will spread itself. So, next sa celebrity visit. Kaya gaya nang sinabi ko kanina, katulad ni Katrina Gray, pumunta siya sa Lake Cebu. When a celebrity visit that place, it promotes the place itself. At mapapasabi naman yung mga tao, ah, maganda siguro doon, pumunta yung sikat na, na si Katrina Gray. Miss Universe kaya siya. At bakit siya pumunta doon? Ano bang meron doon? Kaya pupunta yung mga tao through their curiosity. Bakit kaya? And then, A, product placement. is the insertion of brand logos or brand merchandise into movies and television shows. And it is another tactic for generating publicity. Kagaya ng uh, advertisement, pare, sa isang movie, nag-sponsor sila sa isang movie. Makikita kasi yung mga sponsorship sa credentials na na part ng movie. Makikita doon yung mga kanilang logos and brands. Kaya it's a part of public relation and also marketing their own company. Personal selling. Halimbawa, ako may harap sa isang negosyo, tapos ang ako niya customer sa ako na mismo ba na ito ay dito sa iba. Ako na mismo ba ito bang sa ila para mag-baliga sa ako niya sara. Role of personal selling. Gather your marketing intelligence. Kung may kaalam ka sa inyong negosyo, may edge ka sa sa inyong mga marketing. Locating and maintaining customer. Halimbawa, ang inyong mga 
for the structure of this bottle of Ang yung mga makuha ka customer is uh, sa edad niya 12 to 40 years old na. Daba. E kung mag-50 pa taas, hindi na sila makakaya sa ka. Promoting to the travel trust. Dapat ikaw mismo ang mag-story sa iyong mga customer para kung may kumangkot sila masama ang magaling. Generating sale at points of purchase. Nimbawa, ikaw ang tagiyasang isa ka lodge tapos may customer ka na gusto mag-check-in Tapos, ikaw na mismo ang mag, mag-istorya sila kag kung may pamangkot sila, ikaw mismo magsabak para hindi na sila magkakas sa ibang. Usually, the relationship marketing. Dapat gano'n sila sa good services. Kag kung may pamangkot sila sa imo, dapat masabak mo sa tarong para mag-stay sila sa imo pag magbalik mo sa imo kaya na inyong relationship. Providing details and an up-to-date information of the best trade. Dapat balaan mo ang concern kag issue sa travel trade kag para kung may kamangkot sila sa imo may masabat ka sa mayo kay may nabalaan ka sa ilang information kag ma-aware sila. Ano naman ang objective, objective of personal saving? Tell the good you. Nabawa sa hotel tapos kung ano ang kadamuon sa mga occupy na room Amo na siyang ikawalan sa sales building. Cross-selling, up-selling, and secondary chance-selling. Ang cross-selling, yung bawa may ara ka negosyo, tapos may, sa, tapos may ara man sa hindi nyo negosyo pero ginabaligyan nyo sa Japan. Up-selling, pinapataasan nyo ang inyong presyo. Tapos sa secondary chance-selling, yung bawa na chicken ka sa isa ka-hotel, tapos na-delay ka, Igaan ka naman yung nila sa chance para makapag-book ka nila. Market share. Same of sector to recent industry are more concerned with market share than others. Airline, cruise line, major fast food chains, and rental car companies, for example, are the offer often more focus and market share than our restaurant, hotel, and resort. Products specific objective. A cell force will be changed with a specific responsibility for improving sales volume in specific product lines. This objective may be to cite, associated with up sailing and second strand sailing, but may also be part of the regular sale in duties to the sales force. There is Sale process. Prospecting and qualifying. Prospecting is the process of researching for the new account. It has been said there are three reasons about prospecting. Must be sell people. Don't like prospect. Must be sell people do not know how to prospect. And must be companies are in it at teaching or training some people to prospect. Pre-planning. A successful cell phone made either by telephone or in the field required careful pre-planning and prospecting. There are the two elements of pre-planning of the sales call. Amo ni sila ang pre-planning. The pre-approach and the approach. Presentation and demonstration. Yung bawa sa mga product, dapat balan mo kung ano niya ang story para makuha mga attention sa iyong mga customer. Negotiation. Kung paano mo may ginta sa iyong mga, mga customer ang iyong mga product. Kung paano mo sila istoryan mo. At kung paano mo ma-negotiate ma ang iyong mga product sa iyo. Handling objection and question. Dapat balan mo kung paano sila i-handle ang ilang mga objection at question. Para masab tapos dapat masabak mo sa tarang ilang mga, mga questions sa iyo kung ano man ang ilang mga objections sa iyo, mga product mo para mapakansya mo sa iyo kung masabak mo tarang. Closing the sale. May duwa siya nga ano, na ibig sabihin sa closing the sale. May arang nga na-convince mo ng mga, mga customer para mabakal sila sa iyo. 
Kay kami may araman nga na convince mo sila kay nasa bak may lang uh, pamangkot pero hindi sila hindi, hindi sila magbakasan <coughs> uh, say tapos ang main objective ob, ob, objective din sa closing na si Elias dapat mabintang ang ilang mga uh, say ang nga ito nga kung sa ila dapat makita nila sa ilang uh, mga product kasi yung mga service na Kaya kung hindi, kung way, kung hindi nila makita, mag-alog sila sa cognitive dissonance na makaisip sila kung paano i-brand decision nila rin. Sales management. Why do we really, why do we really need sales management? But the word management. If we manage, uh, if we have a good management sa ating sales, yung desired objective natin ang yung desired sale natin yung kung gusto natin mapataas yung sale at marami yung bumibili ma maabot natin through managing rightful uh, sales so what includes in the sales management recruiting sales people so if you're a manager your first goal is to recruit the sales people yung dapat yung mga suitable person na mga, yung mga suitable person yung ilagay sa ganun mga posisyon Kap, kas, kasi kapag hindi tama yung nilagay mo doon either uupo lang sila doon tapos yung sabihin na lang ah wala kami alam yung job ganun. dapat make a good decision na i-fill in yung mga posisyon na yun and then the second is dapat na-train mo yung mga tao na yun kung paano mag-market at ma-sale yung mga ma-sell yung inyong product and services para ma-achieve nyo yung pinatawag na uh, desired sales. That is uh, the main objective ng sales management. Then, dapat may motivating and rewarding sales people. Itong mas mga rewarding na <coughs> mapapaloob ko siya sa mga incentive kasi kagaya ng uh, employee of the month, doon siya mapapaloob. Dapat ganun nyo i-manage ang inyong mga tao. Nagigyan nyo sila ng mga, mga merits para ma-motivate sila na ganingan pa yung mga tabahin nila. And then, sales planning. Kailangan talaga ang magka-sales planning. Bakit? Para malaman nyo kung anong dapat nyo i-adjust sa inyong mga sales. Mga main objective, mga strategy, mga technique nyo. Malagay nyo dyan at ma-monitor nyo at ma-evaluate nyo kung ano man ang possible at nangyayari na. Evaluating sales performance. So, ito na yung last na part. It is the final function of the sales management. Kasi, it is the sales analysis. It's the term used most frequently for the evaluation of performance. Hindi lang mismo yung physical performance ng tao yung monitor or na-evaluate dito na part. Yung, pati yung mga sales, Pare, yung goods nyo ba, marami ba ang bumili? Yung demand pa, marami ba ang na, na, input? Marami ba ang input sa demand? Or maliit lang ba yung input na nalagay sa demand? Or pagdating ba sa supply, marami ba ang stock ng supply at hindi, hindi nabili? Ganun. Tapos, you should check kung ano pa ang mga kailangan nyo gawin para maka-adjust kayo sa ganong sitwasyon. Sales quota. Performance targets set per unitary for individual sales representatives, branch offices, or region. Pag sinabing sales quota, meron kayong certain target na kailangan yung i-achieve. But it is periodically. Kapag tinawag yung sales quota of the month, ganun, per month or either annually, tapos it's set by a uh, branch ng mga offices, katulad niya uh, sa branch niyo or or in region kung baga ng um, region dito sa sa Cotabato, sa doon sa Cotabato, gin uh, mino monitor doon mga quotas kung namit ba yung mga targets or hindi. Per month or annually, quarterly doon, pero hindi mo klase ng individual evaluate at uh, periodical evaluation. Direct marketing and direct response advertising. Direct marketing is a marketing system.
system fully controlled by the marketer that develops products, promote them directly to the final consumer through a variety of media options, accept direct orders from customer and distribute products directly to the consumer. So, um, direct marketing is ikaw mismo yung magbebenta sa yung mga customer. Direct response advertising. Ang direct response advertising is ikaw yung mismo nag-advertise na yung product. And then, using mail, television, and telephone. Direct mail. A type of direct response advertising in which an offer is sent to a prospective customer by mail. And so, a direct mail. A direct mail is delivered by a single company. And then, the cooperative direct mail is... A direct mail offer delivered as a part of package that includes offers from other companies. Telemarketing. Ito yung gumagamit ng phone to reach their customer and then call center is a central operation from which a company operates inbound and outbound telemarketing programmers. Internet. So, pag once na may internet is nagiging, mas nagiging madali yung pag-process ng product to reach their customer. Direct response television, uh, through TV is mas naging madali yung pagbenta ng products through advertising. And commercial, a commercial usually 30 minutes long that present great detail the benefits of a product or service on the television. Word of mouth. According to Silverman in 2001, is word of mouth is to me communication about products and services between people who are perceived to have no vested interest in promoting them. So, Silver's 2001 suggests that the world word of mouth is powerful for 10 key reasons. Why? The first reason that uh, word of mouth is very essential is it has independent credibility. Bakit independent credibility? Because word of mouth comes from an individual uh, voice. Ikaw yung gumagawa ng iyong story. Kapag galing sa'yo, it has a credibility na nanggaling sa'yo. Kasi sa'yo mismo uh, baba, naglabas yung mga ganyan salita. And the second is, it delivers experience. Lack of positive experience with a product or service is usually the single greatest factor holding it back from greater and faster acceptance. And then, number three, it is more relevant and complete. Where the mouth is live, not kind like most company communication. So, uh, bakit siya tinawag mo live? Kasi yung word of mouth, galing siya sa isang tao. Nagsasalita yung isang tao. So, that why it is live. Kasi, no the deliver shot through the medium of a person. And the fourth is, it is the most honest medium. Bakit siya naging honest na video? Kasi, yung tao yun, he or she personally said about those kind of things. First, katulad, katulad na, na ganda siya ng isang product. Ano ba ginamit niya? Word of mouth. Yung mga sinabi na yun, pwede mo yung maasahan kasi, that person is in front of you selling that product. Mapapawander ko pa ba na, ah, bakit ganyan ang um, product nyo? And, and if there is something, a uh, question na nag, uh, nag came up sa isip mo, pwede mo agad matanong yung kaang ngayon. At na-explain agad sa iyo. Gamit ang word on that. And then, next. It is customer driven. Katulad na nun, yung customer, mapapaisip niya, ah, ganun pala, ganun. Tapos, mag a na lang sila, paano ganyan ito, paano ganyan? Marami ng questions yung mga customer kasi they are driven by your words. And then six, it feeds on itself. Word of mouth tends to breed and itself generate What does it mean? Kapag ang word of mouth na spread to another person, it spread on itself. Nag-generate siya ba? Yung uh, galing sa isang tao, napapasa sa ibang tao. And then, it multiplies itself. And then seven, it has expert power. Tears of experts and influencers can uh, initiate 
word of mouth, sustain it, give it even more credibility, and supply the initial band that can start the chain reaction of word of mouth. So, for example, yung mga influencers na nakita natin sa mga online platform katulad ng TikTok. Siyempre, TikTok yung common na gumagamit na online platform na yung panahon, in trend siya. Yung mga, kaya ba, kapag narinig nyo yung mga word of mouth nila, yung mga salitang nang galing sa kanila, usually, nakukonvince kayo kasi ka, nakikita na sila na sinasabi yun and they tend to emphasize that, emphasize that they, they just experience those kind of things. They experience those products, they experience those service, kaya nakukonvince pa kayo further and further. And next, influencers likes to influence. So, kapag may word of mouth, yung mga influencers, nai-influence na nila nila. Ano ba kasi ang purpose ng influencers? Obviously, they influence people and convince people to buy the product and convince them na gamitin yung mga services or product na nandoon sa kanila uh, pinamo. And nine, it saves time and money. Oh, tulad na. Personal selling, word of mouth. Pag nagsalita ka sa harapan ng isang tao, it saves time and money kasi yung in-exert mo na effort doon is yung salita lang, yung sarili mo lang ang in-exert mo doon. Nothing more. And if you are brief and concise, concise about your information and indicates ka nila, matatapos agad yung mga queries nila kasi na-answer na, na mo na yung, na yung mga possible question na pwede mag-offer sa kanila ang isip. You're very brief and concise. Yun ang kailangan mo. And then, it is an illusionary force. Oh, medyo ish, illusionary force nga lang siya kasi pwede mo siyang gamitan na ang um, cards. Yung parang uh, illusion, illusions word ba. Yung hindi siya masyadong truthful, gamitan mo ng mga sales talk, yung mga idioms mo, yung metaphoric something dyan na nakapaloob para na matumot yung isang kada. Kaya medyo hindi siya hindi siya masyado uh, nakaka-relate sa product minsan kasi yung iba is parang hyperbolic ba? No? Yung super super na mga words ang ginagamit nila. 